Obviously, played a lot of football. What's been the, the most interesting or challenging thing for you on this transition of coming into a new place like Nebraska? I think the biggest thing is just catching up to the speed of the game. Um, players are moving faster. The level of competition is a lot, lot better. Um, you know, the players are moving at a lot, lot faster pace. So, you know, just just catching up to the speed, I think, is the biggest thing. And then, you know, just understanding what what our defense is trying to do and, and attack that. As you uh, develop chemistry with your wide receivers, <clears throat> there's a lot of wide receivers on the mm -hmm. roster. I mean, how's that process kind of gone, developing chemistry with each and all of them? It's been a lot of fun. You know, they come in every day, work really hard, study their tape, and, you know, they go out on the field and they, and they make a lot of big plays. You know, they take, take the pressure off of us and they go and catch the ball when they need to, get open to routes when they, you know, when their number's called. So it's been a lot of fun. They work really hard and, you know, off the field, they're a really good group of guys to be around. Dylan, how, how have you gone about setting expectations for yourself? Was it a matter of you know, month by month? Did you do it? Did you break it up before the spring? Now in the spring, after the spring, or do you look more long term? Uh, I just try to take it day by day. Um, you know, we have the spring right now, so just you know, really focus on each day of spring ball um, and take every day as its own, and then um, you know, not try to think too far ahead. You know, I want to get the connection down with the guys um, and really just be around them. You know, just get to know them, get comfortable with them, and um, that's the main focus. What do, you, what do you find in early that you're having, that you're feeling comfortable with, that you're having success with here, out here on, on the practice field or, or, you know, in the offices? Yeah, I think um, just connecting with my teammates. Uh, the, you know, the O-line does a great job of, you know, getting protection set um, where they need to be, um, you know, kind of guiding me that way. And, you know, my, my running backs run the ball really hard. You know, that, that's the quarterback's best friends, a good run game. So I think that's been been very impressive of what we've done. And, um, yeah, I'm just, just, you know, following the lead of the, of the older guys and then, um, you know, start to find my, my own voice. What the rules said right away, we're going to give you guys a ton of reps this spring. I mean, how fired up were you to just take all that on to, to get all the action to get in right away? It's a lot of fun. You know, you, you just want to play football. Um, Getting a lot of reps is really good, especially for, you know, me and Danny, you know, being young guys coming in. So it's been nothing but fun in the quarterback room. We gel really well, um, play golf together, play cards. I mean, we're a really cr close group, and, and I don't see us – we'll get more, way more closer. You feel like you've done pretty well so far, and what's something you feel like you got to catch up on? Yeah, I think um, – I think creating explosive plays has been um, – you know, probably one of the, one of the better things I've done, um, and I think something I got to catch up on is you know the protections, understanding <clears throat> where where my answers are and things like that. So uh, I think it's just just the scheme wise catching up. Um, you know, obviously having Heinrich being able to teach us the scheme. Um, very lucky to have him in the room and and have some experience on the field. It's creating an explosive plays. You mean are we talking about just the deep ball? No, no. I, I think just getting the ball in the space with our guys that can run. Uh, it could be a five-yard pass, but, you know, we got some juice on the, on the edges, so our guys can turn it in 20, 25-yard gain. So, yeah, it, it's just getting the ball to our playmakers. With the amount of reps that you're getting, how have you seen that maybe, like, the benefit of working in the teams that you have? You have these three different teams, you're getting a lead, so how do you maybe balance, like, getting all those reps, also having to lead, all of those pieces? I think it's unique to have three teams the way they did um, to, to be able to, you know, kind of take – the big team and break it up into three different teams and, you know, kind of lead that way. You're going against all the uh, older defensive guys. So being able to, you know, just, just play against guys that have experience is only going to make us better on the offensive side. We have a we have a lot of young guys and we have a lot of old guys. So just catching everybody up to the speed, I think, you know, taking the young guys with me, you know, being comfortable with them and then, you know, just kind of following in suit with what the older guys have um, already established here. Do you anticipate been wearing like? a green all spring, or do you think the quarterbacks will get live every once in a while this spring? Uh, I'm not sure. Um, I couldn't tell you what we're going to do, but whatever coach will decide, we'll, we'll be ready. So what's it been like living here? Just people recognizing you, probably showing too much love? Uh, Nebraska is a special place, and it's always been like that. And uh, I never take it for granted <clears throat> how, how good our fans are. And um, 
yeah, I mean, I, I try to be around my guys as much as possible, take them out to go eat, um, play Madden. So it's been good. It's, I love living here. Um, not a lot of distractions and a lot of ball and being around your guys. You've, we've now heard a little bit. You all like to play golf, cards. Who Who's leading in that? Like, who's the best golfer? Who's maybe best at Madden? I'm curious who's leading. Um, I mean, Madden's fun. People don't like playing the quarterbacks. Just, I mean, they think we can cheat. But um, I couldn't tell you in Madden, but golf between the quarterbacks, it's pretty even right now. I think no one's have yet to separate themselves. But, uh, yeah, we, we just play 2v2, and then we'll scramble and see who can score the best that hole. Found some guys on this offense that who catch the ball um, that you just, for whatever reason, had a natural had a natural uh, connection with. Mm -hmm. are, there, are there guys out there, in particular, at the receivers or tight ends, who, who you just found yourself to click with right away? Um, I wouldn't say naturally. You know, we put a lot of work in in January and February. Um, but to your point, I think um, you know Demetrius Bell, Jalen Lloyd, those two guys. Th those are two guys on my spring lead team, so I've been able to get a lot of rest with them. You know, also Isaiah Nair, Jamal Banks, and, you know, really the whole group, we really come together and, and made it a point that we're going to go make plays for each other. Uh, we're going to do whatever it takes to, to push the ball downfield and, and, you know, have a lot of fun doing it. I think your coach said you were sometimes out there throwing with guys at like 6 a.m. before your lifting period. How big a deal was that right away to show guys we're going to put in the work? Yeah, I think that goes to show how dedicated the receivers are. Um, they want to get in work, and uh, you know I always show up for my guys if they want to get in work. So it was a lot of fun. Um, some days were rough. I'm not gonna not gonna lie to you, but you know we got it in, and you know, I, I like where we're at in the spring. Of course, everybody knows your whole life that Nebraska has been a big part of your family. Mm -hmm. So now that you're here and you're wearing wearing that gear, how has that changed your perspective on that? Honestly, I think it's it's kind of surreal. And I have a lot of gratitude to being in this university. Uh, I think it really hit the last mat drill we had. It, it was at night in the stadium, and I, th I just remember running out, and it was just it was just awesome to be in Memorial Stadium. Uh, you know, being a recruit, watching a game, isn't really the same as actually being in the in the stadium yourself. So it's just been it's been surreal. It's been I'm very grateful to be where I'm at and uh, surrounded by a great group of guys and coaches. Maybe the biggest teaching point so far that Glenn Thomas has given you that you didn't maybe know before you got here. Yeah, Coach Thomas does a great job of, you know, really expecting a lot out of his quarterbacks, um, and I think he sets a stand. He sets a standard every day when we come in the meeting room to, to go out and practice and execute at a high level. So there's there's a lot of things that he expects out of us. Um, you know, I'm not going to go into detail about it, but I think just the expectation he has for us every day. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.